Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the shop for my first ever part two of a project. Uh, if you haven't seen it, this is my Iron Man Mark 50 helmet, 3D printed, but the unique thing about it is this faceplate is plated with 23 karat gold, which I gold leafed on there. If you haven't seen that video, I think it's linked there. I'll link it there and in the description. You can watch it, go back and watch it now or watch it after, it doesn't really matter. But this helmet is pretty cool, but one thing it is missing, the eyes don't light up. Uh, right now they're just holes. So in this video, I'm going to make the eyes light up blue like they do in the movies. What I'm gonna do, it's pretty simple. I've got some AAA battery holders, bought a crap ton of blue LEDs. I'll show you more in detail about this later, but I'm gonna cut out some lenses out of acrylic, engrave some dots on them so that they reflect the light more out than in so I can still see through them. And then I'm gonna add these little tiny blue LEDs I got and wire them up inside so I can make the eyes light up. Here's what I'm using closer up. I'll put a link to both the battery holders and the LEDs if anyone's interested. So first, I wanna see how bright one of these LEDs are because I still don't know how many LEDs I'm gonna use. So this is just gonna be a little test. Okay, right, that thing's actually pretty bright. These LEDs are three millimeters in diameter. So I think I may only need one per side. What I'm basically thinking of doing is I'm gonna mount these behind here. So I'll mount the battery pack on the inside, of course. The battery pack will be mounted right here on the face. I purposely got triple A's because they're smaller. I'll run the wires up and do a little tee off and have one LED here, one LED here, and then I'll glue in the acrylic. Now I need to find out what size and shape these lenses need to be. You might not be able to see it very well, but what I'm gonna do is since this is a weird curved shape, I'm just gonna take a piece of paper stick it in here and try and draw the shape that I need on it and then I can transfer that into AutoCAD. This is just a rough sketch. There we go. So transfer this, put this on the outside. I think that'll be my rough shape. I don't actually need to do both because they're identical. I can just mirror it. So now I just need to go into AutoCAD and try and draw out this shape. I'm in AutoCAD. I have drawn out my design. Took a couple tries, but I now have a test piece that I cut out on the laser that works. This technically would work as a lens, but I want to be able to embed the LED directly in right here. I'm going to drill a hole in the side and put the LED in. So I need something a little bit thicker, but it is time to now design the dot pattern. I'll explain a little bit more why I'm doing the dots in a minute. Okay, so here's what I got so far for the dot pattern. It's pretty simple, but basically these will be engraved on one side and that'll help reflect the light out, if that's making any sense. Look, an airplane. Easily distracted by airplane merch available on Amazon, link in the description. I didn't get great footage of it, but my eyepieces are done. So essentially, just a piece of quarter inch acrylic. It's that thick, so I'm gonna drill a hole in here and embed the LED directly into the plastic. But this is not completely an original idea. I'm just doing it all myself. So basically, as you can see, one side has little dots engraved on it and the dots will be on the side closest to my face. And essentially what it's supposed to do, is the light's gonna shine in, and it's gonna bounce around, and it's gonna come out everywhere. The little dots will hopefully reflect most of the light that way. So more light will be coming out this side than this side, which means I should be able to see through and still have the cool glowing effect. Now what I have to do, I got my heat gun, and I have to curve these to fit the inside of the helmet. So I think I'm just gonna heat them up and just kind of squish them in there. Might have to get gloves so I don't burn myself. I'm just gonna heat these up and hopefully this works. Okay, I'm just gonna do this one at a time. Hopefully it's heated up enough. I'm just gonna come in here, and just gently press it into place and let it curve to fit the helmet. 
While I'm holding this in place, letting it cool down, take its shape, I'm just marking where it is exactly with a pencil, just trying to line around the edge so we can put it back in the same spot. But as you can see now, it has lenses. It's not glued in yet, I'm just holding it in place. I tried to get it to fit as well as I could. There's a little bit of a gap there, but that shouldn't be much of a problem. We've got the lenses. You can see they're curved now and have little warps in them. Because now they fit. Next, I gotta somehow drill little holes. I'm gonna drill one hole in each side. Got a three millimeter drill bit. And I'm gonna drill little holes for the LEDs. All right, so a better look. So here's the LED and I want it embedded inside just so I can get as much light into the lens as possible. So it doesn't need to be a perfect hole, but just a little hole so I can inset this in a little bit. The actual, got a car alarm going off now? Come on. All right, so basically up to this point is not even gonna be seen. So the LED itself will not be visible through the eyes. So we're gonna do this the most precise way possible. Got a drill, three millimeter drill bit and holding it in my hand. Don't try this at home, kids. You get the point. All right, so you can see my little hole there. Nothing too precise. Not, by the way, not visible. And this little LED just slips right in there. And then what I'm gonna be doing is gluing aluminum foil along the edges and on either side here where it's not gonna be visible just to keep the light inside here as much as possible. That way I don't have light coming out of here into the helmet where I don't want it as much as possible coming out to give it the best look possible. Hey look, an airplane. Easily distracted by airplane merch. Now available on Amazon. I was originally gonna use foil tape, but it turns out the foil tape I had was not reflective. And this project's expensive enough as it is, so I don't wanna buy any more stuff. So I just got some like cooking foil. I'm gonna spray uh, some spray glue on it and then like roll it on and then trim it afterwards. Hopefully this works. There it goes, I'm gonna try it with one of these. Stick that down. Hey. It went all the way around, how about that? Didn't even measure it. But now, just gotta let this dry and trim off the edge. I have put foil on the sides and also I put them on the sides where the bulb is gonna go. That way, what my thinking is, it's gonna direct light more this way into the lens. I'm really hoping one bulb is enough. If it's not, I think I might be able to drill another hole down here and put a bulb in the other side, but hopefully I won't need to do that. So now I just gotta take this battery pack, wire it to some LEDs. I've got some spare wire, which coincidentally also powered LEDs. Let me get soldering. It's time for me to design my mini circuit. Shouldn't be too difficult. I uh, need to cut off this little connector. And I purposely got a battery pack with an on-off switch, so I'll be able to just flick the thing on and off without having to solder in an extra switch or take the batteries out to turn the lights off. So this thing is, this little mini circuit's gonna have to be in parallel because these are three volt LEDs and this thing puts out three volts. So I need parallel in order to have equal voltage across the elements. So the basics of this, quickly solder battery to one LED and then two wires going to the third LED. Third? Second LED. And that way I have a simple parallel circuit. Unfortunately, I don't have any like helping hands or anything to hold this while I'm soldering it. And it is not on a board or anything. So this is a little weird, but basically got two LEDs. I'm gonna string a wire between, and then I'm gonna splice in the battery right there. I don't know if that makes any sense. I'll just solder it and show you when I'm done. And I'll skip over the soldering because it's gonna take me a while to get it to work without anything to hold on to. I didn't film any of it, but it is finally done. It doesn't look that great, but Got two lights, flip the switch, and you get two blue lights. Here, quick demo of how it works. Light goes in the hole, you get a blue lens. Uh, I think I'm gonna, I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna attach them yet. I don't wanna super glue them in case the, the bulb dies. I've got plenty to replace it, but I don't wanna have to remake the lenses. So if I put them, I think I may just friction fit them in. Pretty snug fit. All right, so while I get the hot glue gun heating up, I happen to find in a cabinet this 3M Velcro. So I'm going to Velcro the battery pack on because I can't glue it because it has a switch on one side and the battery's open on the other side. So I need to be able to access both. And let's just stick that down there. Perfect. Once this is installed, I'll just stick that inside the helmet. Well, apparently I forgot to hit record, but first one is hot glued in. All right, there it is. And I'll record the second one since I forgot. Uh, there's nothing too special here. 
Just lay it in place. And just shove some hot glue in there. Unfortunately, this hot glue gun is pretty drippy. It's old. All right, there we go. The eyes are in. It already even, it looks better just with those in there, even without them lit up. Not sure how well you're gonna be able to see me do this, but it's time to add the lights. It is not the cleanest looking wires I've ever done, but it is in. You can see those lights work. All right, here's the moment of truth. First time I'm seeing this too. Lights on. That looks cool. That's working perfectly. Like there's, that's, that's the best I hoped for. It's awesome. Okay, so now I just need to adhere the battery pack. I'm just gonna do it right here on the face. Now that can be removed with Velcro when I need to change the batteries. And I think I'm gonna go just put some electrical tape over this to protect it and just keep the light right here will bleed right into my eyes. So just cover that up. I'm not even gonna bother gluing in the LEDs. Now, less lights bleeding into the helmet. All right, there we go. So if you're building a helmet like this, they there are places that do sell lights like this, but you can also make them yourself like I did and use a Glowforge. And by the way, link in description will get you up to $500 off a Glowforge laser cutter. So if you want one, check that out. So just ignore everything on the table. I haven't cleaned up from the build yet, but this helmet is now even cooler. Not only is it gold plated, but the eyes light up and I can still wear it. It's a little tight. All right, so it looks a lot cooler now. It is a little hard to see. I can still see, I can walk around, but it's like, I describe it as wearing someone else's glasses. It's a little blurry because of the dots, but it's not like I'm being blinded by light. So it is doing its job of reflecting the light out. Just maybe, I don't know, in future, make the dots a little smaller or more spaced out. Well, hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video and this project, my other ones, please hit the like button. It really helps out. Subscribe. I've got many more cool projects, even cooler than this one coming. Uh, yeah, subscribe, share it to any other Marvel fans and Builder fans that you might know. If you want to see some behind the scenes occasionally, follow me on Instagram or TikTok. And with that, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.